गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच टूडे वी विल लर्न इन दिस सेशन अबाउट डिफरेंट टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स व्हिच वी कैन यूज इन आवर डिजाइन थिंकिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट्स गेट इन टू इट सो द फर्स्ट टूल दैट वी विल लर्न टू यूज इज अबाउट पैरल थिंकिंग वट इज पैरल थिंकिंग now as you can see from this particular funny video funny picture right so this is an elephant you can see this elephant is there and there are few people are there around the elephant on the elephant so you can see this person he is holding over here and it's saying it is a fan so this person thinks this is a fan this person climbing on the ladder he is thinking this is a wall this portion of elephant is a wall now he is thinking this is a rope of an elephant this guy he is thinking this is a spear this person over here he thinks it is a snake this is a snake and he is on the tree or he is on the wall so from this picture what we can understand is every person involved in this particular picture though this is an elephant they are thinking completely differently somebody is thinking wall somebody is thinking fan somebody is thinking rope somebody is thinking tree somebody is thinking snake somebody is thinking spear somebody is thinking wall everybody is thinking parallelly in a different way or the same person is thinking this elephant as a different way so can we also think one aspect in different ways one particular point we can think in different ways this is called as parallel thinking okay so today we will learn a very important tool about parallel thinking which we can use for our own thinking process so what is that tool is <coughs> the tool of six hats what is six hats six hats will help you be more productive we'll come to the six hats it will help to you save your time it will help you be productive it will save your time and also it will help you not to come back and again think because you are already thinking with six different perspectives create evaluate execute action plans improved communication understanding and removal of ego and much more traditional versus parallel thinking so traditional thinking says take sides opposite point of view so we always tend to take sides and opposite point of view argue your point my point is right so let's argue my point no matter we feel it is right or wrong i will continue to argue my points prove other side is wrong the objective is to prove the other side as wrong all parties think from same point of view coordinate so here in six thinking hats in parallel thinking all the parties will think from the same point of view lay out all the differing and differing ideas get a full view of the problem from all the angles using six hats so let's understand it more so you can see these are the six thinking hats this is a tool which is used to think about the parallel thinking process so white hat red hat black hat yellow hat green hat organization hat so six different types of thinking hats help to do parallel thinking you can put on and put off hats so with the same mind same brain you and the same point you will think from six different perspectives with different colors of hat what are those we will come into no more in depth so for the time being white is more about understanding facts red is more about emotions 
black is more about cautioning yourself optimism yellow is more about optimism thinking positive green is more about thinking creatively blue is all about organizing all these hats and finally selecting a selection of a thinking process so what are the six colors white neutral and facts red emotional feeling black caution and danger yellow positive optimistic green creative blue organizational so these are the six different thinking hats from the same perspective same point we have a different perspective so white hat will know each hat individually white hat white hat will make you think neutrally objective will think about the objective what is the objective of this particular point be like a computer facts white hat will make you think on facts figures numbers information so if uh, information is not available or facts are not available white hat will not approve about that thinking process so white hat will always think with a neutral objective and an objective for that matter for that point and also it will always consider facts figures and information <clears throat> white hat thinking neutral has talks only about facts figures and data be like computer while wearing the hats excludes emotion there is no emotion in thinking what info do we have what are the facts and what info do we need so it's all about the facts two tire facts believed facts and checked facts red hat red hat is feeling hunches emotions so red hat is all about the feeling that we have the hunches the emotions how do we feel about this so it will make you think in an emotional way gives you opportunity to express feeling and emotion intuition and hunches likes and dislikes take into account emotion as a part of discussion no need for justification okay black hat caution and careful so black hat will always make you cautious and careful before taking any decision it will start make you thinking focus on risks and problems what are the potential problems in it so what are the potential problems in it black hat thinking is concerned with caution and careful hats of survival also serving as the base of critical thinking logical negative why it won't work so it will say based on the critical thinking and logical thought process negative why it won't work it will say why it won't work black hat thinking is concerned with caution and careful we need to consider the risk dangers potential problems most abused hat as we are naturally programmed for this so this is the thought process which the black hat will make you think in a careful way about that a particular point whether to go out with that point what are the negative things might happen this might be negative this won't work so this will talk about all the negative aspects which will protect you from the risk which is there beyond that particular point yellow hat positive and optimistic looking for upside what are the benefits so yellow hat will always look into the optimistic side positive side it will tell you what is the benefit beyond this point yellow hat thinking so develop value sensitivity opposite to danger sensitivity this is just opposite this will always give you a positive outcome positive objective naturally not programmed to do so unlike black hat yellow hat looks for positive sides and benefits i know the risk of doing it now need some yellow hat thinking on it why something may work though it is outrageous so this is just the opposite of the black hat so black hat you will think in a negative objective negative point of view why it will not work on the yellow hat you will start thinking why this will work 
green hat creativity growth new ideas and alternatives so green hat is all about creativity it will show you the direction of new alternatives more opportunities new growth opportunities so you will try to find out all those aspects from the green hat suggest me some new ideas to increase sales without lowering the price so suggest me some new ideas how we can prepare better for our iit je or for net neat so you can always put up a green hat and start thinking green hat hardest hat to wear hat of creativity new approach to problems generation of new ideas collect the idea with green hat then do some yellow hat and black hat thinking of it so collect the idea with a green hat then do some yellow hat and black hat thinking because yellow hat will talk about the positivity of the particular situation black hat will talk about the negativity of that situation we are optimistic situation and negative analysis so so the, this hat will make you think over new ideas those two hats will help you analyze those idea which is workable or not workable blue hat blue hat is the organizational hat control of other hats and it controls the entire so whatever you have thought till now from all the other hats now blue hat will organize it will bring all the perspective in one particular place and then let you think whether to what is the final decision that you are taking on that particular point should be used in starting and the end of the session setting the thinking task why are we here why are we here and what we want to achieve right focus and control of the process decide the thinking sequence of the other hats so blue hat with the organizing hat which will control this entire thought process which you are organizing right now in your mind by putting in different hats so you start with blue and then you have an objective then put all the other hats in different steps again come back to blue and then find out why you were doing this activity what is the outcome that you want to get and finally what is the outcome you have taken from this particular activity so this entire organization of this particular activity is organized by the blue hat thinking which will make you more systematic where a systematic thinking comes into the picture so outcome of this whole exercise that we are doing what is the solution that we are getting out of this next steps we need to take and the conclusion so kids we'll go through an example before we go through the example this particular technique or tool of six thinking hats you can use it for anything you do related to your study related to sports related to your career because this you can use anywhere and on any perspective of thinking any decision making where you are not able to decide you can use this six thinking hat technique and you can apply on that particular technique at that particular problem you will come out with an outcome by thinking the same thing from your same mind with different perspectives <coughs> so so for an example suppose you want to become an engineer or a coder or want to get a competitive exam how do you go about putting on the different hats and think about your objective the white hat calls for information known or needed so for example what are the different technologies that are trading that i trending that i should be aware about and need to learn suppose tomorrow you want to set up your own career you want to understand what is happening in the job market or the career perspective so white hat will give you all the perspective all the objective all the facts and figures which particular job area where the highest salary is there or which particular job area there is a career huge opportunities are there all those facts and figures you can carry from the white hat thinking the yellow hat symbolizes brightness and optimism under this hat you explore the positive and prove for value and benefit so what are that what are the future scopes and opportunities that i will have if i learn in this new technology 
black hat. The black hat is the judgment, the devil's advocate, or why something may not work, spot the difficulties and dangers where things might go wrong, probably the most powerful and useful of the hats, but a problem if overused. Will learning this new technology affect my regular lifestyle or my career? If I try to learn it beyond my scope and capacity. So you have to understand whether by learning this is going to help you or not. So black hat will make no, no, this is not going to work. This is not future driven technology. This is waste of your time. All those thought processes might come out from the black hat thinking. But it is suggestible not to overuse that particular thought process or hat. The red hat signifies the feelings, hunches and intuition. When using this hat, you can express emotions and feelings and share fears like dislikes and likes and hates. I have a feeling that this new technology will run, will rule the world 5 to 10 years down the line. So red hat will make you think emotionally. The green hat focuses on creativity. The possibilities and alternatives and new ideas, it is an opportunity to express new concepts and new perceptions. Given my awareness of interest, how can I implement my learning of this new technology apart from what is already being done? So I will find out what are the new areas and ways of doing this. The blue hat is used to manage thinking process. It is controls the mechanism ensures the six thinking hats guidelines are observed. The talking the above five hats thoughts into account. How do I make sure that I am achieving my goal to learn a new tool skill technology. So this entire controlling and the organizing of this particular thought of learning a new skill and a tool or a technology is being governed by the blue hat. So kids this is how you can use this particular tool for any of your thought process here we are talking about learning a new tool or a new skill or a new technology as a perspective where we have used six thinking hat principles and tools you can use it for your preparation for your IIT JE, selecting a career option or for that matter for your other competitive exam wherever you want you can use this tool it's a very easy to use tool and very simple to implement as well. Thank you kids, next session we will learn the other tools and techniques.